Welcome again to Let's Talk Parks. I'm Cody. A new school year is in full swing and students are back in the classroom. But even before the first bus rolled to its first stop, the St. Clair Street Senior Center held an end of summer party for members and their families to help deal with the back to school blues. With just a few days left before the start of a new school year, the St. Clair Street Senior Center put together a cool event that students could enjoy with their families. How cool? It was an ice cream social. So we had this, this ice cream social, kind of a end of the summer, um, starting of the school year. The kids are kind of down, they have to go back to school, so we thought we'd brighten their day up and um, make the beginning of school year fun. This end of summer celebration was for grandparents, parents, and of course, children. And the staff, along with some very enthusiastic volunteers, work hard to make this day a treat for everyone. This is a perfect opportunity for grandparents to show off their grandchildren and to spend a little quality time with them. We get to meet their family, and so it kind of helps us to bond with them. This gathering wasn't just about ice cream. It was also about entertainment. And with a lot of anticipation, everyone waited eagerly for the star of the show to appear. Today we had Bruce Amato. He's an amazing magician, and um, his rabbit, um, they're just a big hit here. We love having him here. One, two, two and a half. With one last wave of the wand and a big cheer from the crowd, it was now time for the best trick of the day, making ice cream appear and disappear. If you're over 60, come join us. Um, we'd love to uh, meet you and show you around. Looking for fun all year round? Make the St. Clair Center one of your regular destinations. You can find a calendar full of events online and in the Parks and Recreation magazine, The Rec Connection. Just take a look. While St. Clair is for seniors 60 and older, some programming welcomes the entire family. And there's no better way to make them feel welcome than with some entertainment and a little ice cream. Well, the next story takes us to Cannonsburg Village, where every summer, residents fill the lawn just outside the Visitor Center and enjoy local music as part of the third Friday night concert series. No best for being a historical village, Cannonsburg has been a place to visit for decades. But on this night, people gathered for a different reason. And that reason is their love of good music. Well, tonight we're having our third Friday night concert and it's completely free to the public. We invite everyone to come and bring a chair or a blanket, bring your supper with you, uh, your grandma, your kids, very family friendly. And it starts at seven, lasts till nine. The band will be playing on the porch here at Cannonsburg great time. Speaking of time, you still have some before the next concert, so make sure you mark your calendar. We have this every summer and the last one will be in September. Just come in and be prepared to enjoy some really good music. Not familiar with the venue? Well, a concert is a great reason to get acquainted. Just come out early and take a look around. Kennesburg is a, a pioneer village. It's here pretty much in the middle of town and you can come and experience what it was like in the late 1800s, the early 1900s. You can view some of the, um, the buildings. There's a, a doctor's office, an old schoolhouse, a grist mill, a chapel where people actually get married now. It's a great place for families and you can learn a little history too in a fun way. The third Friday night concert series is an annual event that promises great music in a great location surrounded by great people. You can find more information about Cannonsburg and other parks and rec facilities and events online at murfreesboro.tn.gov slash parks. Uh, we have our rec connection program guide at the different facilities and around town. And um, we also have 15 different Facebook pages. Cannonsburg is one of them. Uh, you could go to the parks and rec Facebook page and lots of our facilities have Facebook pages as well. We invite you to come out to our third Friday night concert and have a blast. Parks and Recreation offers musical events all year round and at various sites. If music is your pleasure, be sure to check out the Rec Connection for upcoming events. 
Now, Parks and Recreation Programming covers a wide array of subjects, all designed to create a better quality of life for residents of Murfreesboro. And recently, St. Clair even offered an event geared towards employment. This brought center members together with community partners for the benefit of everyone. Older adults are often viewed as retirees, but the truth is millions of Americans ages 55 and up work full or part-time jobs every day. Statistically, they also account for about 21% of all workers in the U.S. So it's only natural that those wishing to remain in the workforce have those opportunities. And this is where the St. Clair Street Senior Center and their job fair get the job done. Well, we had a job fair here that we offered for the seniors that are looking to get out of the house and um, mostly for part-time work. But we have had a lot of employers um, come to us saying that they were um, interested in trying to find seniors that want to work a few hours a day. Today's senior is not what we used to think as a senior when I was a kid. Um, they're, they're very active. 60-year-olds um, is the new 30. I mean, we just, you know, we stay active and, and um, the workforce, they need us. They need people who are dependable, who want to show up, who want to work. And um, a lot of seniors, you know, fit that category. In 2015, nearly twice as many older adults were employed than teenagers. And this job fair proves work is still available for seniors which is a big encouragement for the mature worker. Well, we were blessed this year to have um, partnered with Jeff Glidden, who's with the Job Centers of Murfreesboro, and he actually did the, the footwork for me and um, brought in uh, Amada Senior Care, the Census Bureau, Boulevard Terrace, Lucky Lad Farms. There's a lot of people out there who are seeking older employees. It helps the seniors to feel needed. They, um, there's still a place in, in um, the workplace for them. And so they do, they, they're not just sitting at home um, making bread and rocking grandbabies. They're out there making, uh, making their own money. Tennessee ranks 14th in job opportunities for seniors, which means in Tennessee, a large number of older Americans are working longer and the number is growing. Actually, I'm planning another one for the spring. So if anybody uh, may not want to work this winter, um, a lot of people are snow babies and they go to Florida. When you come back, um, we're going to have another one in the spring. Um, for those employers that, that um, want to start you off in spring and summer. Whether you're looking for full-time or part-time, one of St. Clair's partners may have what you need. So be sure to check out their calendar for their next event. But in the meantime, just stop by. So if you're 60 and older, come, come to St. Clair. We'd like to show you around and tell you more about us. We have lots of activities, lots of programs that are here. And if there's something that you want to do, something you're interested in, and we're not offering it, let me know. And um, I will research it, and we will get it. Uh, on the books for you. St. Clair continues to meet the needs of members daily with activities and services that reflect the shared interest of the members. Interested in joining St. Clair? Go by in person. Their address is 325 St. Clair Street. Our last story takes us to the Greenway and to a class for the artist at heart. Now whether you're a beginner or an expert, I'm positive you'll enjoy painting in such a scenic space. Looking for something to do on a Friday night? Try Parks and Rec's painting class for adults. Held at the Gateway Island Reception Center, it's designed to help you create a work of art in a fun, affordable, and very scenic atmosphere. Gateway Island is under my job description, so they let us do all of our programming here. This is for an adult class. It's a farmhouse acrylic painting class. Acrylic paint, it will stick thicker and it will stay on longer. And I'm adding liquid text, so it gives it dimension. I'm going to teach you from the beginning to the end, and it's not as hard as you might think it is. It's very easy. Color, hue, saturation, value, all applied to a surface is considered the essence of painting. With this in mind, this class helps each artist capture their own style and vision with paint. There's already a picture painted, and I will show you step by step. We're going to trace it out right at, uh, with a pencil. We're going to pencil it out, and then we're going to fill in together with a subject picked out by the instructor, a few helpful directions, and some art supplies, it's now up to the class to apply their own creative imagination to the canvas. Painting has proven to have several benefits. Benefits like communication, concentration, and improved brain activity. So if you're looking for artistic fun with benefits, this class is a great choice. I just think it's relaxing and gets people out of their houses to do more fun things with each other. 
To find these programs, the best place I found is Facebook. So it's Murfreesboro Parks and Rec, and then you go under Upcoming Events, and that's where you can find all kinds of events that are happening here at Gateway Island. So join us here. We have tons of programs coming up. Three or four already in October I have planned. So definitely go on Facebook, like us, and it will remind you to come join us. For more information on this and other classes offered at the Gateway Island, call 615-893-2141 to reserve a spot or several. You can also find information on the city's website or follow them on Facebook. The Gateway Island is open daylight until 10 p.m. daily and offers a gazebo or reception center, a walking trail, and other amenities. For more information about the island, call the Greenway office at 615-893-2141. Murfreesboro Parks and Recreation is an award-winning department with services that target athletics, aquatics, cultural arts, fitness, outdoor recreation, and more. If you'd like to get involved, be sure to check out the city's website, the Parks and Recreation publication, the Rec Connection, or follow them on social media. I'm Cody, and this has been Let's Talk Parks.